Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Well, look, one man who's not been uh, featuring in the reshuffle, of course, is the MP for Rochdale, Simon Danchuk. This evening, he confirmed he is now subject to a police investigation into a historical rape allegation, allegations he described as malicious, untrue and upsetting. We talked to him today, but before that investigation became public, for months, Mr Danchuk's been in the public eye. His relationship with his former wife, Karen, was something of a soap opera. His subsequent breakdown played out in the tabloids. Revelations that he sent sexually loaded texts to a 17-year-old girl saw him stripped of the Labour Party whip. His reputation was made in the newspapers, then broken by them. Newsnight can, in fact, reveal that Mr Danchuk's been taking payments from a photo agency that takes pictures of him and then sells them on to tabloid newspapers. He's been speaking to Nick Hopkins. Simon Danchuk, you said that there's no fool like an old fool, but do you accept that this sexting was wrong? Yeah, absolutely. I've uh, said it was inappropriate and I've apologised for that unreservedly. I think you have to see the context of this. This young woman uh, got in touch with me some months ago. Uh, during the course of several months we had exchanges across social media and just at a low point in my life in September uh, she sent me some sexual texts and I, and I responded uh, accordingly and I shouldn't have responded. Uh, wholly inappropriate, no doubt about that. Was it wrong, though, because in your defence, you've been quoted as saying that look, some men prefer blondes, some men prefer brunettes, you prefer young women. In itself, that sounds a bit icky, doesn't it? Oh, I think it probably does. But I'm just making the point. I mean, I can't deny the fact that I prefer young women, you know, and different people have different preferences. And, uh, you know, my first wife was 10 years younger than me. My second wife was 17 years younger than me. Uh, my last girlfriend was 17 youngest, years younger than uh, than me and I was just making that point but of course I accept I've made a mistake and I've apologised for that and I think that's what's important. And a 17 year old, let's just be clear here, a 17 year old is too young for a man of your age, 49. Yeah, absolutely. But you've got to bear in mind uh, that this is somebody who I've only ever commu communicated with across social media. I've never spoken to her, I've never met her. Because the way it's been reported, it's almost as if um, you're, you're being accused of grooming her. Yeah. Do you, do you accept that that's how it appears? Oh, no. Well, the only reason it appears like that is because the tabloid newspapers have decided to report it in that way. They've conflated several months of uh, pleasant uh, exchanges of messages into what appears to be from them uh, into just a few days of uh, activity, and that's just not the case. Has this young woman, Safina, been in touch with you recently? Yeah, she has been in touch. A day or two she sent me a message saying she was sorry for what's happened uh, during the course of the last few days and I'm, I'm grateful for her sending that message. Uh, I communicated via the newspapers to say that I was sorry, uh, not just uh, to family and friends and to constituents, but also sorry to her if I'd caused her any upset. Uh, but I, w I was pleased to receive the message from her saying that and I think it shows a sign of maturity on her part. Aren't you fearful? Though that this work that you've done, and, and, and particularly the, the work you've done on Cyril Smith, will be tarnished and undermined by the current allegations surrounding you. Well, there's no doubt about it. That, that, you know, I've apologised for for the mistakes that I've made, uh, and my credibility has been dented. I readily accept that, and, and I have to work harder than ever before. Over the years, do you think that it was been a mistake for you to to court the media in the way that it appears that you have? No, I think I've been involved in the media in terms of getting a message across and if you're running a, a campaign where you want to get certain messages across then there's a variety of ways of doing it, whether it's in the chamber, in parliament but also whether it's through, uh, you know, different forms of media. Look, in the, in the register of members' interest, we were looking at this on our way up here, you got paid £1,100 by a, an agency called Fame Flynet, which is a photographic agency. Now, from what we can see, this is an agency that follows you around, takes pictures of you, and then sells them to tabloid newspapers. What's going on there? 
No. Well, what I've done with that organisation is provide media advice and give them ideas about what they might and might not do. And, you know, that's my choice if I want to do that type of work and I don't make any apologies for it. There's nothing uh, against doing that. Uh, it provides an insight and provides some transparency in terms of my life. Not, not anything that I've ever shied away from. But it could look like you're tipping them off about where you're going to be so they can take photos of you to sell to tabloid newspapers and then you get a cut. Well, but I've just made the point. Listen, I advise them... That's not happening. Well, no, the point I'm making is that I advise them on a whole range of different issues and I have done uh, for some time. And, of course, I receive payment for that and I declare it properly in the members' register so that it's transparent and open so that they can see it. But what are you advising them on? That's what I don't understand. Oh, yeah, no, that's right, about photos and, and, and everything else. But that's clear. That's clear in the book of members' interests. And you can't have it both ways. I'm declaring what I'm doing and I'm being honest and open about it. OK. But on this case, sorry, I just didn't need to press you on this. It does look like... I mean, how many MPs have... Uh, have a relationship, a financial relationship with a photographic agency that is taking pictures uh, of them and then receiving money from them? Well, I've no idea. That's surely got to be wrong, hasn't it? No, I don't think it's wrong at all, actually. Simon Danchuk, uh, their MP, talking to Nick Hopkins. I've been getting away with it all my life.